Now coming to the gear ratio part. This is gonna be a gear ratio 101. So don't forget to like this video. And also subscribe if you're new. Nobody will subscribe to Fail Latins. So as I've shown you, I will, I will be dealing with two gears. One of them will be a hybrid gear. What is a hybrid gear you may ask? It has two sets of teeth. So for our black gear which have the two sets of teeth, the outer teeth is 55 and the inner is 21. And for our white gear, we have 60 teeth. So. As you can see right here, this is how I calculated the gear ratios. So right here you can see my black gear, which is a hybrid gear, as it has two sets of teeth, as you can see 55 and 21. Looks like I've messed up with the brutal and singular of tooth. And in that 55 teeth, we will attach our worm gear. So as you can see, one teeth is equals to 6.545454454 degrees. And for the 21 teeth, it is 17.14 degrees per tooth. And the white gear has 60 teeth. So it is 6 degrees per tooth. According to the sidereal rate, we have to travel 6 degrees in 24 minutes. So that means... We have to travel one tooth of this inner black gear in 24 minutes. That means 17.14 degrees. And by that, I calculated how much outer teeth we have to travel. Which here you can see. 2.61904761723538 teeth. So that means as our worm gear is one teeth, I mean one tooth, that is one full revolution will result in one tooth movement or one step movement of the thingy that is the gear i mean the thread so see what i meant by one tooth of this one gear see it is now rotating one revolution one complete revolution and stopping so now if i remove this clip you will see how the worm travels See, for each complete revolution, the thread is shifting by one thread. That's why this worm gear has one tooth. That is, if uh, the worm rotates one revolution, our gear which is attached to it will rotate one teeth. That's how we figure out. So that means. 2.61904761723538 rotations of the stepper motor so like that i have calculated how many steps we need it's approximately 126 steps and if we can micro step that then we will have 503 steps for one fourth micro steps that means in one revolution we'll have 48 into 4 that is 192 steps click the video in the card server as I've discussed how I micro step in my previous video. That is to reduce the jitter. And if we don't do this micro stepping, if we just take 48 steps per revolution, then there will be around 10 seconds gap between the two steps. That means again our stars will appear as in the sky. We want pointy sh we want pointy stars. That's why we have to reduce this delay between the, those two steps as much as we can. See, I found a very good example why I need micro-stepping. You see that? This will exactly happen in our case if I, if we don't micro-step it. Now coming back to the gear ratio part. I found this website. You see? See? This is the driver. I mean, this is the website where you can easily calculate the gear ratios. 
So, the first thing it needs is the revolution of the driver. So, we will put one in here. And then the teeth of the driver, as I have told you before, it has one teeth. That means, when it rotates one full revolution, then the attached gear will rotate one teeth. Most of the worm gears do like that. And mine also. And then we have the teeth of the follower, which is 55, which is the outermost outer teeth of my black gear, which I will attach to the worm gear. And if we press calculate, see, this will be the revolution of the black gear. That means if you rotate one full revolution in our stepper motor, then the black gear will rotate this much amount. This is the revolution amount. So now we can just plug this thing in here because our black gear will be driving our white gear. So we'll paste that right here. Now our black gear is the driver basically and it has inner teeth which will be attached to the white gear itself has 21 teeth. And we have the white gear as 60 teeth. So now if we press calculate See, it says 0 0.00637. This is our basic gear ratio. But we are achieved using the whole gear train. That is, if we rotate one revolution of the our stepper, then we will achieve this much amount of revolution in our white gear, which will be our cam base. Or where I will put my camera to track the stars in the sky. So now, Another manual calculation shows this is also correct, as you can see right here. I'm not going into details because you can easily find these when you search in Google, like gear ratios and gear trends, these are basic. But it also took me around one and a half days to research all this shit. I don't have this much time to do this shit, but I have to, you know, because sometimes it's tricky to find out shit in internet. So by this website, we can easily verify our results which we got in here we just have to plug this value the value of rotation copy it and paste it in our website just have to play, paste it right here and then we have to put again our thing that is one teeth for the driver which will be our stepper warm gear and then we have the black gear outer that is 55 then calculate is it says 0 0.0476 now this will be our driver so we will just paste that in here and then place the inner black gear which will be connected to the outer white which will be 60 and then press calculate and see 0 0.0167 now what is this you may ask so you just have to go to calculator see now this thing 0 0.0167 means basically 1 by 60. See? Because as our white gear has 60 teeth, we have to divide 1 by 60 for 1 teeth. So this is the value of revolution for 1 teeth. That's what we need. And you have to achieve this much amount of revolution in 24 minutes. Because that's the, what the sidereal rate says. That is 1 degree per 4 minutes. That means 6 degree in 24 minutes. Now we have to just plug our value in here and you will see the magic. That is we have 192 steps. If we obviously one fourth micro step it. And then we have to just multiply it by that value. That is, oh f I forgot. See the lengthy sh value. That is 2.61907. What the? See, we have 502.8571 steps, but we cannot achieve this much amount of steps. So, we will just round it off to 503. Oh, so, this is what we have got. You have to travel 503 steps in 24 minutes. That means 24 minutes. See, now the next part of the calculation will be 24 minutes means how much seconds? this much amount of seconds so we have to divide one what the f 503 steps 
with this 503 see we will have gap of around 2.86 seconds or maybe 2.86282306163 seconds between the steps this is also that not that good actually because when you are clicking pictures at suppose 300 mm then our app shows we should not have longer exposure than 1.3 seconds so 2.86 is much bigger than that so we must be able to keep click pictures at 70 or 100 mm i guess but not 300 mm so this is not a perfect design by that i mean see at 300 mm things move much faster and more apparent because you are zoomed in so see our app says for default that is barely noticeable trails we have 1.4 seconds and for accurate that means more pointy stars we have 0.7 seconds too so we have to get a sweet spot between these two values that is 0 0.7 and 1.4 but for me this will be much greater because there will be gap of 2.8 seconds as I've showed you so that means if we reduce this value that means reduce the zoom amount like maybe 200 mm then see we have 1.99 seconds that's still much more lower than 2.8 seconds so you have to find a value which matches that 2.8 seconds so let's put 17 there so see you have 5.28 seconds and for point stars you have 2.6 seconds so probably I will go up to 100 mm. See for 100 mm we have 1.88 seconds accurate and for barely noticeable trails we have 3.76 seconds. So probably this 100 mm is a sweet spot for me. That's what we can do with the stepper motor I have because it is not that Besides, you know, it only have 48 steps, but you can easily get NEMA 70 stepper motors, which have 200 steps per evolution. And we can even micro step them up to 1 16th, which is just madness. But for that also, we need proper polio drivers, but I don't want to spend money in that as I already have L29810. It is a piece of shit as compared to those. So, but who cares you know i just want to make it and test it Sh but in future i i mean i don't know maybe in future i might upgrade that to an ma 17 and a proper stepper driver so that we can micro step it easily i want to click at 300 mm though because that's where the orion will be much more clear and juicy but for now seems like we're stuck with this and also it will be a pain in the to make the mount and stuff like that am i screwed yes you are definitely <laughs> no that's where you guys comes into play give this video a thumbs up and also comment down below that keeps me motivated you know so now coming to the next point that is powering this thing now as we have figured out that 12 volts is, I think, enough to power this thing. So, in the actual field, uh, I have a feeling that I'm powering these with my lead acid batteries. I have a couple of them laying around. Do you want to see them? Here they are. As you can, As you can see, it's a 7 amp power that means even if we draw 7 amps through this it will last one hour i will not be drawing 7 amps through it though probably one amps max so this can run up to seven hours which is insane but here's the problem they are around 20 years old i mean they are literally 20 years old i'm not joking they are bought when i was born I mean, I am, I am greater than 20, so probably these are around 19-20 years old. 
and these are screwed but I was watching a couple of videos online and I think I can revive them I have three of these now so that will be the topic for our next video I will try to revive the data acid cells which are, to, which are 20 years old so that's all for this video hope you have enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and share with your friends this is Manar you are watching our syllabus and for today I am signing off